What's up YouTube? Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! here again today with another very large mail item. Um, I think this is from the same seller as my other two larger um, tin items, so this guy has lots of good products, so, and I keep buying it from him, so let's get right into it. No no tin today, but still some, some cool old school items. All this is sealed product though, so that's, sealed product's pretty a uh, hot commodity right now. So let's see what we got. Probably a bunch of, no, he just threw it right in there. So I'll try not to reveal it all at once here, so. All right, so. They're all special edition boxes. So, first one I'll showcase is Return of the Duelist, special edition. So this is um, obviously a, a newer set. I'm pretty unfamiliar with it, so um, probably definitely be for sale pretty immediately. So there's one special edition. Here is a Crimson Crisis Special Edition. Um, comes with three uh, packs in each box and um, one of two super rare variant, which was Necroface and Goblin Zombie. I believe there is a quantity of 10 in each of these. Um, so 30 total packs. All on unlimited edition, but still really neat product. And then we'll go with this. Rise of Destiny. This has a small tear in it, but nonetheless, um, cool product. One of four, four variant cards. Here we go. Um, three, three packs and you could uh, I didn't say the variant card. I forget what it is. I think one's Dark Magician Girl. And uh, maybe it's Diffusion Wave Motion. And I'm not sure what the others are. But still a cool piece of history right here. And same thing. I think there's 10 boxes and 30 packs. So you can kind of see this one already. Duelist Revolution Special Edition. So this is a kind of a, a newer set too. But not... I mean, it's older, but newer compared to the Rise of Destiny. So that's the same thing, 10, 10 boxes. And then we have three packs in here. The special editions are Drill Warrior and Gold Sarcophagus. So that product might be for sale. Might keep it for now. I don't know yet. Then we have two more. Gladiator's Assault. So, once again, sealed. So this one actually comes with two Gladiator's Assault and a Dark Crisis with Vortex Trooper or Phantom of Chaos as your um, random uh, bonus card. So that's a little different. And then last but not least, Invasion of Chaos Special Edition. Ten packs sealed. Um, the four, one variant card, I think there's four of them. It's uh, Ring of Destruction, Lava Golem, Gemini Elf, and um, can't think of the third one right now, or the fourth one, but... So that this box here pretty much paid for all of the others. So kind of make a pyramid now.
we got all six of these for $260. So that's pretty much a steal in my book because the Invasion of Chaos is pretty much that by itself. So don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them. Probably sell them off individually, but not sure exactly yet. So that was part one of the mail day and then I'd already opened this package. We have some uh, Pharaoh Servant Hollows and we're gonna go through each of them and I'm gonna decide here if they are grade worthy or not. So, based on some feedback, I'm gonna try to get the cards closer to the camera and we're gonna examine these up close. If I can get them out of these top loaders. So first card we have, Fairy, Fairy Meteor Crush, super rare. So, front looks pretty, pretty good. And the back looks like it has some factory lines on it. So overall though, the corners are pretty good. Um, could be a candidate for PSA. Next, we have Women to Removal. Um, didn't know re really know what to think by looking at the uh, pictures online for the lot, so I just kind of took a shot at the dark. Um, once again, pretty mint, uh, pretty centered on the back, um, pretty off center on the front, but it could, should easily get a nine, I would think, in that condition. No one of cross out. Once again, looks pretty good in the front and then more kind of factory lines on the back it looks like. So sometimes they're picky with that, sometimes they're not. So pretty kind of off-centered, so probably a nine again. Then we have Gear Freed the Iron Knight. I don't have all these in PSA 10 or even nine are graded at all. So I might grade them even though like this is pretty off center and I might do it just because if it gets a nine, I know that it's a, in as mint of condition as possible for this specific card because I know the only reason it will get a nine is because of the centering. And if it gets anything less than that, then obviously there's another defect to it. So we're through, I think, four supers. And now we're at Parasite, Parasite. And this Weevil card. This one's pretty, pretty well centered and um, still kind of got the factory lines on the back, but not as bad. So I would say this is a, kind of off a little high to low, but I'd say that's probably our best PSA 10 candidate so far out of the supers. And I did get all 10 supers in this, in this lot, so. Uh, beautiful foil in this card, Dust Tornado. And once again, kind of off-centered, high to low and left to right, so for sure, got a tiny dent down there too so this one probably won't go in to get graded probably because it it'd get a seven maybe an eight so probably not worth grading next we have backup soldier um 
pretty off-centered, high to low and left to right once again. And this guy might have just had a bunch of mint copies and just got rid of his his least desirable um, centered cards, but still mint condition, you cannot complain. And I'll go over uh, what I paid for it at the end once we get through them all. Mirror wall was a good looking foil. Off a little high to low, but left to right's pretty good. And I think they'd probably let that high to low stand. And uh, back's pretty good. Still got some factory lines on it, but overall, probably could get a 10, maybe a 9. Then we'll get into. Um, Two of the probably more popular um, supers from this set. First, we'll have Magical Hats. So there we go. This one is uh, probably one of the better centered cards that we've seen so far too, so that's good. And the lines on the back are, uh, well, let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. The lines on the back are pretty non-existent too, so pretty good, pretty good chance for a 10 there, I'd say. And then the last super Grave Robber. A little off centered left to right, but looks pretty good so far. And about the same on the back, a little off center left to right. So that'd probably get a nine. So if anything from this, hopefully this will kind of inform people that aren't too in tune with grading, um, kind of what I look for when I send cards in and why I don't send some cards in and honestly why my my rate of 10 is, is probably 70 or 80% because you don't always always win on every card like this card. Perfectly mint card, but um, there's just no reason to send it in because um, it was just doomed from the start by how off-centered it was. But I mean, for an ungraded collection, if you're if you're not worried about graded cards, it's perfectly mint card. So I got all 10 um, supers in this purchase and seven of 10 ultras. So we have the Fiend Mega Cyber, kind of an underrated artwork and card. I mean, look at that lightning kind of flickering in the background. 2200 attack and you can special summon it if your opponent has two or more monsters. So that's kind of a decent effect. And the back looks pretty good. So this card, I think, could easily get a 9 at the minimum. It's kind of rotated. It's kind of skinny up here and skinny down here. So could get a 10, but we'll just have to wait and see. PSA's re return times are crazy slow right now, like three months out. So anything I send in will just take forever. Then we have... Goblin Attack Force. I do know I have this one in PSA 10. So, if I this were to get a 10, looks pretty good on the front. Looks good on the back. So, probably a pretty decent chance that that would get a 10. Um, that would be for sale for sure. Then, one of my favorite artworks out of the Pharaoh Servant set probably behind um, Jinzo and Buster Blader is Call of the Haunted. Just kind of has like a, a 3D effect and kind of eerie and spooky. So kind of off-centered left to right, but not horrible. And um, kind of has 
some factory lines through it and a scratch up here at the top. So I would say probably an eight, maybe a nine. So looks like we have maybe three more ultras. Yep, three more ultras. So we have Ceasefire. Remember uh, pulling this card way back in 2004. So this, this kind of always had a sentimental value to me, but unfortunately it's off centered as well. Back looks pretty good though. Probably another one of my top, I did forget about Legendary Fisherman. I, I, I do really enjoy that artwork as well, but this is probably one of my top five artworks from the set as well. Premature Burial. So this one is, um, once again, a little off set, but could get a 10 if everything else is really clean on it, which some old, um, a lot of the older cards have some waxing effect on the back, but Overall pleased with all the overall conditions of all these cards. I can't really control if they're centered or not. And um, a lot of Pharaoh Servant cards are um, off-centered. You don't really hear about it, or I don't really hear about it often, but more times than not, they are off-centered. Last Ultra we have is Chain of Destruction. And this is very well-centered, so really hoping that that's a PSA 10 right there. So. And last but not least, we have one of the secrets. But unfortunately, it's just Imperial Order. But still nonetheless. Old school secret rare. Really well centered. Probably more centered out of any of the cards. And um, looks to be in gym mint condition so got one secret um all 10 super rares and seven of 10 ultra rares so only missing four hauls out of this purchase and it only cost 73 dollars and those are all gym mint cards i mean some a lot of them are off centered but nothing physically wrong with them besides that so i think that's a pretty good buy too so hopefully i didn't bore you going through the each of these cards individually just kind of wanted to show the ins and outs of kind of pre-grading uh, my my cards and i'll actually put grades on a spreadsheet of what i think they deserve before i send them off to psa so if i get a card back and it gets like a seven or something, I'll go back and look and be like, oh, yeah, they, they caught that or whatever, and that actually probably does deserve that, or no, there's no way that's, that's getting cracked and resubmitted. So, hope you guys kind of liked that thought of it, and that's the end of this mail day. Kind of small in items, but a, a longer video, just because it took a little while to unbox these and to go through those Ferris Servant cards. So, sus subscribe if you're not. I'm planning a giveaway here shortly with some things, and it could end up being some of these cards right here. So be on the lookout for that, and thanks for watching.